Hello, welcome to Finneytown Secondary Campus, where our goal is to nurture each person's sense of self-worth so they know they matter. We want to create an environment where students love to learn and feel that they belong. We have two initiatives to help us work towards these goals. Project-based learning, also known as PBL, and restorative practices. The information in this presentation will address restorative practices at Finneytown Secondary Campus. This is our story. Five years ago, in the 2017-2018 school year, five administrators attended restorative practices in Michigan for training. The team was intrigued by the information and felt it was the right direction for our community. Restorative practices are about increasing student engagement, building relationships, and creating strong communities of learners. The practices also focus on treating everyone with respect and restoring harm when harm is made. The original group of leaders decided to train a small group of teacher leaders on the secondary campus. The following year, in November of 2018, the team trained department heads, house deans, and other teacher leaders in the building. The training was two days long, and many teachers embraced the practices and started implementing them in their, in their classrooms. The teachers using the restorative practices in their rooms, along with the admin team, then became part of a new team that started planning how to train the entire district. In August of the 2019-2020 school year, the teacher admin team trained the entire district in restorative practices. Teachers, support staff, custodial staff, and bus drivers, everyone in the district. They trained on the two in-service days before the start of school with the hopes that even more teachers would implement restorative practices during the 1920 school year. Keeping in mind, the administrators at the secondary campus were also using RP with discipline practices as well. In the 20 2020-2021 school year, a few teachers piloted a new way of handling disruptions in the classroom. Instead of sending students to the timeout room where they were automatically assigned an after-school detention, the teachers would send disruptive students to a fellow teacher's room where the teacher would talk to the student about their behaviors and discuss how to change the next time. The process showed many successes and the idea of an RP room was developed. This school year, 21 to 22, the district hired an RP facilitator and then they implemented an RP room that was staffed by teachers as a duty belt. The RP facilitator also served as part of the administrative team and dealt with conflict resolution, classroom engagement strategies, and support for any other restorative practices in the building. In addition, the RP facilitator started a restorative peer mediators group, also known as RPMs. The RPMs are a group of students interested in building community and helping their peers solve problems without violence or disruptions to the learning process. They are trained in conflict resolution, active listening, and clarifying questioning techniques. Two training sessions were given this year, one in the fall and one in the spring. A total of 50 students have participated and completed the training this year. The RPMs are used in the RP room and they give presentations during mentor groups so students and staff know they are available for help. Next year, the district will hire a second RP facilitator that will be at the elementary. 
Restorative practice is growing organically and becoming the way of life at Finneytown. It is one of our best practices and is not purely about discipline. Restorative practices involve building relationships to enhance learning and engagement in our classrooms. Nurturing each person's sense of self-worth so they know they matter can be accomplished using restorative practices. Thank you for listening to our story. If you would like more information or a tour of our RP room, please contact Tammy Dietz at tdietz at finneytown.org or call 513-931-0712 and ask for Ms. Dietz. Thank you to Mr. Rosa and our global communications class for creating the video presentation.